Good evening. It's Sunday evening. I've been charging batteries up half the evening. And that is actually the wrong time. <laughs> I still haven't put that clock back yet. It's actually 10.40. I'm feeling tired though. I'm ready to go to bed. Um, anyway, last few days. Uh, I was at Mum's Thursday. And I got two bikes. One Apollo. One Pro Bike. Uh, if I've already said or mentioned this in a video, then I apologise because I can't bloody remember. Uh, I've left the Apollo one at Mum's, but I have fixed the bottom bracket. That was the main thing that needed fixing on that. And I've noticed the back wheel's got a buckle, but I should have a rear black wheel to put in it um, so at some point this week no rush because I probably won't be going over to mum's until next Sunday now anyway I'll have a look at my outside cupboard and see if I can dig up a back wheel in black to replace it but then all I need to do is pump the tyres up make sure they're up to um, the right pressure because they are low, they're not flat, but they are low. And set up the brakes, and that's it. Oh, and give it a wash. Well, that is seriously it. It's not often I get a bike from the recycle centre that needs so little doing to it in the way of repairs. Um, well, I've bought the ladies' bike home because I've got someone interested in that already. Um, I just got to put a chain on it tomorrow. I've took a hacksaw to the old chain because it was too rusted um, but I've kept hold of it so I can find one the right length I'm actually hoping the one on her bike that I've got locked out front will fit just to save me going through my bag of chain and I've noticed the one I bought home has got a slight buckle in the front wheel so I'm going to see what the front wheel is like in her bike out front and swap that if it's um, not buckled. Because again, that's just going to be quicker and easier. And hopefully I can shift it. <laughs> then I'll give it a wash and I'll put some reflectors on it because it is getting dark earlier now. I might even chuck a rear light on it because I've got a box full under the bed. I might as well get rid of some. Um, did also come home from Mum's with a few bits. Biggles picked up a big cardboard box from the recycle centre. He just wanted the box. And there was a compact keyboard, compact mouse, and a pair of compact speakers in it. Um, so I brought those home. home rather. The keyboard I'm going to install on this PC. It's not my favourite colour because it's white. So it's going to show up my dirty hand prints like anything. But uh, I do prefer this one because the one I've got has got that horrible curved design to it. But this is a USB keyboard so that will go under there. In fact, I think I could actually use a PS2 keyboard on there if I really wanted to. Because uh, I do believe that motherboard has got PS2 sockets. If it has, I might just stick one of those on. I think I'm just being too nitpicky. Yeah, I w I'll worry about that tomorrow, though. I've tested these phones, and they work to a degree. These ones, no display. And I'm presuming that's because these batteries in here are dead. This one works, but again... The batteries have leaked, so I've got a lot of cleaning to do in there, but I think I can salvage it. So, you know, nothing, no memory or anything on the base is going to work, and that's throwing up an error anyway. Or well, ER, which I presume is error. Uh, these are the compact speakers. No 12 volt power supply for those, but that doesn't matter. I've got a box full of adapters, and most of them are 12 volt anyway. 
Here's a little compact mouse. I do believe this one is new. Possibly. It's a bit dirty because I dropped it, but it was in a cardboard box, a little one. The keyboard was in that one. But I'm not sure that the keyboard is new because uh, it's faded. But it actually doesn't look like it's been used a lot. Maybe the white plastic is faded just from being stored. That is possible. If it's been stored near some sunlight. There goes my WD-40. Then um, that may have faded. Right, what else? Um... Oh yeah, I had that lad that threw my laptop in the bin pop up today. And he dropped off this. Which uh, is fucked, by the way. Um, it turns on, but a few seconds later it shuts off. So there's probably a fault on that. Though I didn't try the power supply that came with it. I tried one of mine, so it might even be a dodgy power supply. I don't know. But there's the screen. That's smashed. Pardon me. Um, so I don't know if he had a bit of a guilty conscience, but he dropped this one off. Uh, and I've also purchased a bicycle from him. Uh... came with a bunch of accessories and whatnot, including front and rear light. The rear light I'll have to bring up here and show you. Well, I'm going to bring the bike up here tomorrow to show you anyway. And I'm actually going to have a massive clean out of a lot of my bikes. I've got too many. And I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get the Saracen set up for me. Because um, that's what the, br the brand of bike is a Saracen. That's why I bought it. Because uh, next to Claude Butler, they are both my, you know, they are my two top favourite brands of bike. Um, it's got front and rear disc brakes, black wheel rims. Well, they could just be dirt. <laughs> I'm pretty certain they're black wheel rims. Uh, front suspension, so it's a hard tail. Does have a suspension seat post, but I'm going to have to change that because I can't get on the bike. <laughs> I've lowered the seat as far as it will go. Obviously, the suspension spring part of the seat post won't go in the frame. It's too wide, so... I'm going to have to change the seat post so I can get the seat low enough for me to go on it. If I could get it to go, you know, where the seat goes right down to the frame, because obviously I can't do that because of the suspension spring on the seat post, then I'd be able to get on it. It's just because of that extra height from the seat post that's preventing me. So I'll change that tomorrow and I'll go for a little spin. Um, there's a baggage rack on the back. Which I might take off because I don't really need that on there to be honest. I've got my hybrid. Which reminds me I've got to go down and lock it up because it's hiding around the back at the moment. So I need to find a padlock and a chain of some description. Or a bike lock. Actually, I did have a bike lock up here somewhere. Now, what the fuck did I do with it? <laughs> that is a good question. I ain't got a clue. Oh, I know where it might be. Um, but it was sort of a bit of cash and my little red Dell laptop. And that was his suggestion. So, that was the deal. Um, but of course, I'll show you that tomorrow. Like I said, I'd need to uh, change the seat post and whatnot. So I can actually get on it and take it for a ride. But uh, I know full well that if I don't actually like it, it doesn't matter because I know full well I can sell it easy. Well, I think I will. Oh, and I've got to lower the handlebars as well, because uh, an extension tube, same as the one I've got, has been fitted. So, um, 
I'm going to take that off and put the handlebar down because by the time I get the seat lowered to where I want it the handlebars are going to be far too high I think I will sit on it and go for a ride before I take that off but I think I am going to have to take it off which is easy enough to do uh, right Yeah, that was a bit too good to pass up. Anywho... Can't think of anything else. Apart from the fact I'm feeling really, really freaking tired for some reason. Uh, and hungry. I've got nothing to eat. <laughs> so, the hunger's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. When I get up... Um, Oh, I've got another mountain bike as well, but not from the recycle centre. There was nothing there today. Um, I was actually playing on the PS3 two nights ago, this is, and I heard a loud clang from outside. Kind of figured it was something, you know, being chucked at the skip or something that's out there. So I didn't think nothing of it, because I, well I did, but I couldn't be asked to go down and have a look. So, I went down and had a look yesterday, when I remembered, finally remembered yesterday evening, just to see what the clang was, you know, if I could see that if anyone had done anything around there. Someone had dumped a full suspension Apollo, Apollo branded, mountain bike in the skip. Um, I did post up on the Regenerate North Walsham group and the Town Council group asking if anyone had had a bike stolen the previous night because uh, I have been caught out before when I've been given bikes and found bikes abandoned um, like when I found couple of year ago, abandoned in town, actually fixed it all up, put it on eBay, and someone saw and recognised it as theirs. They were fine about it. Um, and I just, you know, I took, gave it back to them. And they uh, they still paid me what I was asking for as a, you know, a thank you for um, repairing the bike and uh, giving it back, so... <laughs> can't complain but there was another one that I didn't know was stolen neither did the person who gave it to me but uh, I did get arrested for that one and interviewed because the cops actually came around to see my brother because I was living with him at the time and they saw the bike in the garden <laughs> but yeah I um, no action was taken against me because I genuinely didn't know um, but it turns out that the boy I got it from knew the lad that um, had the bike originally and this other lad stole it from his pet mum and gave it to the kids on the estate to uh, basically do what the fuck they wanted with which is basically damage it I'm seriously going to have to put some fucking spikes or something on there to stop him going up there. Aren't I? <laughs> no matter what I did to him, he'd still just ignore it. No, I can click his bleeding lug holes or something. <laughs> anyway. So yeah. No one's replied, and I've not seen anything pop up on any of the for sale groups I'm on. That's usually the first thing people do these days. They um, go straight to social media. So, I've got a good suspicion, considering it's got a couple of... Both wheels are slightly buckled, 
front tyre is bald, front brake doesn't work at all, back brake barely works, seat post is all loose. It's got a partially tatty frame, you know, it's not in the best of nick. And I've got this feeling that someone just fly tipped it in the skip to get rid of their, uh, you know, their unwanted rubbish instead of taking it down the dump. You know, they probably walked past and thought, oh, there's an empty skip there. I'll just chuck it in there tonight. <laughs> Under the cover of darkness. It's fixable, but again, not from the point of view, you know, not from a customer's point of view, can I call it that? Because um, that would actually cost, well, you actually might as well go out and buy another brand new Apollo bike for what that would cost. Because if you took it to a cycle shop, that would be two new wheels. That's at least 40 quid there, because they're about 20 quid each. Uh, one new tar, which again is about another 10, 15 quid. So you're looking at 55 quid just for those. New cables, that's another fiver, that's 60 quid. This is roughly, I'm not, you know, making it exact. Uh, what else? Cable adjuster is missing for the front brake. I haven't looked at the brake blocks, but I'm going to presume they don't need doing. And by the time you factor in a good couple of hours labour, you are looking at about 100 quid to fix it. And as it's an Apollo bike, well, like I've said before, you can pick those up for anywhere between 100 and 150 quid. It's a budget bike. That's why people just... They buy them new, bash them around for a year or so, and then they end up down the fucking dump. <laughs> In a state, usually. Uh, but the bottom bracket is good on that one. So, oddly enough, I've got two boys, Apollo mountain bikes. One hardtail, one dual suspension. The hardtail is in far better condition though. Far better condition. I just need a bloody good clean. <clears throat> Which I'll do next weekend and I've got to find a back wheel for it. Uh, I've got quite a few front wheels kicking around so, you know, Finding them for these couple of bikes I've got that need them won't be a problem. In fact, it should be a problem if I need back wheels either. <laughs> uh, but theoretically, because I know I'll be allowed to keep the um, other lady's bike, the unwanted one, I've got, at the moment, four bikes to sell. So, yeah, I'm going to be busy this week. Well, one's over at Mum's because I haven't got the room here. Uh, I'm going to put the Giant up for sale. I'm going to change the tyres on it. So I'm not going to set up with those ones on. They're near enough fucking bald. I just put them on as temporary because I intended to keep the bike. But now I've got that Saracen. Giant can go. I've got quite a few in the shed that I could sell but I've tried them before and they just they haven't sold they're too old so but the Schwinn I know I said I wouldn't but I've got a feeling I will <laughs> uh, but not with those tyres on it I will change the tyres as well uh, It all works. I've just got to sort that rear brake. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, and the brakes are rubbing a little bit. But uh, that can go up. So that's two I could actually put up for sale tomorrow. I 
Oh, I don't know about the Schwinn. Because it is a fucking nice bike to ride. But again, I've got to look at it as I don't have the room in the shed. I've got them overflowing out front, and like I said, my hybrid is locked up out back. I only just managed to squeeze the lady's bike in the shed that I brought home tonight. <coughs> uh, I've got a shopper bike in the shed. But the bottom bracket is fucked on it. I could break that for parts. Because I've got better shoppers that need parts. So instead of pissing around with the um, bottom bracket on it, that'd give me a bit of room in there. I might break that up tomorrow, actually. It's got front and rear lights on it. I'll take the mud guards off. Because I've got a bike over at Mum's that needs some better mud guards. And I might as well do up the better ones. You know, take all the handlebars off if I need them. The seat post out, whatever I can pinch off of it. Because, like I said, the bottom bracket is pretty much defunct. Well, it's a weird one. And what I put on it isn't going to work. So... Yeah. I'm going to use the parts to do the one I got at Mum's. I've got a bag of shit white one there as well. Actually, I think I might strip down some of these three speeds for parts. Such as wheel hubs. I've got a couple there I can cut the wheel hubs out of. The three speed hubs. Uh, well, actually, no, not that one. I'll keep that as a spare because I don't have many spare three speed wheels. Uh, not that I need any at the moment, but it would be nice to have a couple kicking around for spare. Right. Oh, I thought I'd been rambling on for a little, for a lot longer than that. I'm going to shut the camera down. I'm going to get this video up on YouTube. If you can hear any rustling, that's the cat sitting on a carrier bag. Anyway. Like I said, I'm going to shut down, get this video up, it won't be long before I go to bed, I might actually play some GTA so I may even sh um, get this video up and shut down the PC altogether, um, that actually sounds like a plan, and spend an hour or so just blowing shit up on GTA, actually I've got a thing for going on a rampage in a fire truck, because they're so robust, they take ages to kill. I think it took me about 45 minutes to kill one the other night. One! <laughs> and that was bashing it into every vehicle and solid object I could find in the game. That bastard would not die. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow, when we'll have a look at my new bike. Bye!